Hey guys, what's up? Evil Zombie here, as you can see. <clears throat> yes, I found my DM screen, and I'm going to be using it more often. So today we're going to be talking about dice trays. And also, I'm thinking of doing this general setup for when I review stuff and record stuff. What do you think? It's a nice look, because I got the mat, and then I got the board, and I thought it looked cool. Um, but yeah, so we're talking about dice trays today. And there's lots of different kinds of ways to roll your dice. And some people, the heathens, just flop it on the table, you know? And then it just rolls around, or it might just go flying off the table like that. And it just goes elsewhere. Because I have people that will get a good roll on it. This is a metal one, so it's heavier. It's harder to get going with that heavy roll, you know? But some people, it just goes flying off the table. And I don't like when that happens. I'm a person that likes my dice to be in a contained, controlled place. So, dice trays. And there's lots of different kinds. I want to talk to you about the ones that I have. And my thoughts on them, if they're pretty good, portability, usability, all that stuff. It's just for looks, build quality. Let's have fun at it with it. So first, let's go with the cheapest, the easiest to get kind of all. Cases that come with other things. This was a wallet case for a Marvel wallet I had. It was a superhero wallet. Look at comic book covers and stuff. But the case is fantastic for dice. Because <laughs> it's a solid metal case. It had like this nice felt thing that kind of sticks in. It doesn't come out that easy, but it's not. It's like a cheap plastic kind of felt. But it's always been a decent dice tray, you know? It's just a simple thing where I can roll my dice in it. And that's what it's for. Basically, I use it for my portable DM kit. Because I keep my little DM, I keep my dungeon tiles in it. And then I just stick the whole thing in there because it's a two-in-one kind of thing. But for dice rolling, ooh, 19. It's actually a pretty nifty little thing. It's sturdy. It's never going to break. And it's lightweight. It's easy to store because it's considerably flat, but it is not movable like in any way. So that's a bit of a downside for portability. So that's one point off of it pretty much, you know? Because that's my only real complaint on it is it has a very specific shape and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so that's my thought on that. Then the next up would be things that you can make. So this is a little dice box that I made for Curse of Strahd. Like I stained it, got some wood together, did all the felt and everything in it. So normally I use it to store my dice, but it's also a pretty good makeshift little dice tray for the coffin part, you know? It's not a very big one, but if I'm on the go and I want to run this campaign, it's not bad. Ooh, nat 20. I'm going to stick it right there. So it's a nice little dice tray for that because of the felt and then it just sits nice and even with this part. It's nice and flat. And it looks nice. It's wood. And I got no complaints about it. It's always been a, a convenient little thing. It's pocket it's pocket sized and it clips shut. So I can store my dice in it. So that's actually a bonus point because I don't need to keep a separate dice bag. The dice actually fit inside. <laughs> so that's another one I have. Um, you can get boxes and treasure chests and things like that if you want to. Or you just make them. You just get very thin wood and then you can just do little pin nails to connect them together or wood glue. Okay, another one is one I got from Forged a while ago, <laughs> Forged Gaming. A lot of the time I have a link in the description so you guys can look at that, but yeah, they have great dice trays. The downside is it's not portable. <laughs> this is like the least portable dice tray ever because it's gigantic <laughs> and it's rigid and everything. It doesn't bend or anything, so it's basically your at-home dice tray. That's the only real downside to it, but it's great build quality, um, it's sturdy, it has like nice leatherette, and then it has like really high quality felt. I love the felt in these. And then rolls are satisfying in it. It still gives you enough of a clunky feel, a uh, clunky sound, so the rolls sound good. And I ooh, not 20. I'll stick it right there. Um, but other than the, let's see, other than the lack of portability, like complete lack of portability, this is pretty good. It's a nice feel. It's nice. It comes. This was the one that came with my dice uh, tower that I got from them. So this is like the lid of the dice tower that you can use as a dice tray. Portability, it's like zero. No portability. But it's beautiful and it's nice for big dice for when you have... Sorry. I'm going to reach right across you there because I got big chunky dice. But you're rolling big chunky dice, this is nice because it's gigantic. Okay, guys. So moving on from that one now that you've seen it. The next one I want to talk to you about is a really nice cheap kind you can get from China or basically on Amazon. You can get these dirt cheap. Like on Amazon, if you can get like three or four of them in a pack for 12 bucks or something, 
um, and from AliExpress. I got this for I think three dollars on AliExpress, three or four dollars, and then it got shipped to me. And it's nice because these just kind of clip together. I mean, the clips aren't the easiest thing to put together, but it doesn't pop out ever, you know. And then the, it sticks together pretty well. Portability is fantastic, other than if you have something breakable or scratchable that you that might touch the clips themselves. But it's pretty it's pretty sturdy. It's like a sheet of cardboard, sheet of cardboard, 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 and then leatherette like pla like really tightly done to both sides, and the stitching is very nice. Um, I actually have no complaints on this, and um, it can be a little tough to clip those together if you don't have strong hands. But there we go. I'm just gonna show you what it's like when it's folded together. It's like that. Ooh, 18. And it's just a nice little dice tray. That's basically what it does. The only real downside is the edges are curved somewhat, so they're not straight up. So you might have a point where you roll the dice and it kind of sits on the edge a little bit and you're like, oh, what number? Oh, actually, no, maybe not. It doesn't seem to do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Never mind. It's not really a complaint. It does roll off. I can't get the dice to sit at an angle like I was trying to show you. So that's good for me. Okay, well, that was the only complaint I really had. But the If there are any downsides, it would possibly be able to break, bend, you know, not like rip, but it would probably bend out of shape or something like that if you're not careful, or if you don't have it like between books or something. And I would store it in front of your books because it'll scratch it with the little pegs. So like right in the front of the books and then a book back here, and then it's good. It's perfect. It's a nice way to store it, nice way to travel. But I like it. It's nifty. This is not felt. This is leatherette, and this is leatherette, so it's leatherette on both sides. It has a cool feel to it. I'm kind of, um, I kind of love the felt feel for my dice trays. So that's something that's a little bit of a downside for me, because when the, this kind of stuff gets dents or dings in it, like right there, a little one, I don't know if you guys can see it, right there, that never goes away, because it's leatherette, <laughs> and there's nothing you can do to fix that. So that's another little downside, but they are cheap. They're very cheap, so that's an option, just so you guys know. Okay, moving on to the last kind that I have. This is the kind I get from Dice Envy. I love Dice Envy. You know this. I'm an affiliate, and I buy a crap ton of stuff from Dice Envy. I like their stuff. It's nice. Now, stop spouting out praise. Link in the description, of course. Um, this is a really nice dice tray. This is pretty portable. The size is... I, I can't fit this in my backpack because it's too wide. But I can fit it in my laptop bag perfectly because it's still thinner than the... Well, no, it's a little wider than the book. But I can still fit it in my laptop bag perfectly and that's what I use it for because it's flat and I can store multiple ones of these. Which I do... Ah, there we go. I store multiple ones of these things in my laptop bag. So it's easy to move these around, it's easy to transport them, and if you want to put it together, you look up side, flop, flop, because it's magnets. But the thing I love about this, okay, several things. Build quality, fantastic. It's of course like that cardboard, but this is actually decent weight. This is a nice one. Um, so it's like the thick cardboard kind of on each, on each of the pieces. There's no snapping together except for its magnets that they have inside here and here on each part. And then, let's see, you can see it, it holds together pretty well. I'm just kind of popping it together. They don't, it doesn't, even if you're kind of rough with it, it doesn't fall apart. You know, it's, it holds together and it's very nice like that. So, and unless you have a really heavy die. As a dice tray, it does dice tray things. You know, it has a nice clunk because there's not much padding. I like the clunk. The, the sound is nice. I like dice. I'm gonna roll. It's a nice feel. Another plus side that I like about this style personally is that it's a straight edge, which is also what I like about this one. Um, it's a nice straight edge, so it's nice right up against the edge. It's a nice easy thing. Some people like that curved edge like that one, but I like it where it's more this style. It has nice high walls, so if you roll harder it doesn't bounce out. And sorry, I'm weeping across. If you're doing these, it's nice because, well, of course, they don't roll out, even if you roll kind of hard. There. But they're nice. I like it. And it has a cool logo. The logo is not felt. It's like a shiny kind of plasticky thing, you know? 
it's nice though. I, I enjoy the quality of it. Nice stitching and everything. I've already done a video on this um, for the build quality, so I won't really talk about that that much. But for me, that's probably my favorite portable dice tray other than this one also, which I absolutely love because it's smaller. Like the entire size of this is about the same size as the folded up dice tray for the other one, but it's flat. And it's not as big, so it's not as good for chunky dice. Like this is great for chunky dice, which I actually use a lot. <laughs> I use my chunky D20s for everything. You know, the big metal ones and all that, like my big suckers, I use those for everything. But this is nice because of portability. It's so portable. I mean, I can fit this in my backpack, no problem. This one, I cannot fit in a backpack. That's a big downside. So just so you guys know, they're nice, but not for that. <laughs> I'll move that over there. I, I, I like the setup. I like the way this whole setup looks. It's cool. There we go. Let's set that back behind me. And then the last, well, I guess technically the last kind of dice tray I have is the kind I have built in to my table here. You know, this is nice. I built this, I put it together, like I cut out and then I made another piece of and I put felt on that, felted the walls. That's another kind, it's just, it works really well for our games, for my table. The table that we're on right now, that I built, because I'm proud of it. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you, hopefully this was fun for you, hopefully this was informative, hopefully I was able to just give you a little more information on cool stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Of course, there will be links in the description below um, for all the affiliate junk. So if it's not a, if it's an affiliate link, I'll put that it's an affiliate link. You'll see, so I'm not tricking you. Those don't cost you any extra. It just helps me out. So if you use them, cool. I also have discount codes and all that junk. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. This is not a really sponsored video. I just wanted to do it because it's fun. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.